Hello everyone, this is Martha and uh, I'm in my hotel room at Manila. So I'm staying at the Green Sun and it's now 5.39 in Manila and also Singapore. So there's no time difference between Manila and Singapore. Um, so yesterday uh, I, I had uh, two uh, workshops. Uh, one was called uh, Ask Anything and it's basically just open to the floor to ask any questions that they have. And it's also a little bit of a discussion. And then after that, I did my Art of Felicia workshop. And uh, it was amazing. There were a lot of people and uh, they were having so much fun and uh, so many um, uh, sharing. <laughs> people just offering their um, experiences as well. And um, uh, the day before, I was on the radio show, Boys Night Out, and that was hilarious. <laughs> that was really fun. Um, they, there were actually four boys, not three, and uh, they had one guest. Uh, also, uh, she's a sex therapist. And um, then there's me and uh, Antoinette, who is from Burlesque uh, PH, and uh, it was great fun. So I'm up so early because um, um, we have a bus to catch. We're going to some area uh, in Philippines where we're going to have tea with someone. And um, this lady is amazing. And so really want to meet her and talk about possible collaborations. So this is me wearing my comfort, <laughs> comfort clothes. Uh, this is my woolly and I always wear it when I travel and I, I, I expect the, the bus and downstairs to be cold so I'm wearing this for now. Okay, so coming back to the video when I say what I'm going to say, what I want to say today. So uh, I'm trying to keep my voice down because the walls here are very thin, very thin. I can hear them. Um, watching their TV and even just talking to each other at, at a normal pace. And they probably can hear me next door. So next door includes the front, the back. The, uh, anyway, um, so I've been here for like three days now. Okay, so yesterday in the workshop um, and also in my previous sessions with people that I know and actually even uh, acquaintances. Um, this is something that I observed and one of the participants yesterday said, you know, you're right when you said that. So why am I saying? <laughs> I'm saying that when someone says that uh, I can't do that, I'm not somebody who can hook up, I'm not somebody who can um, pick up guys or I'm not somebody who can do uh, one night send or um, things like that. Uh, they may want to examine whether when they say I cannot, other people can, whether there's an element of judgment, whether you're judging them as people who are wrong or judging them as people who are doing things that they, um, that they are doing because they are more uh, of a uh, like less ethical, less less of anything, um, or more of anything, uh, maybe more slutty and things like that. So when we say I can't do that, uh, I don't think I can. Um, it's not that you cannot. I think a lot of times we we think we cannot, and we we don't give our permissions to be, whether it's. Uh, uh, not even sex, like other things, swimming, uh, scuba diving, uh, bungee jumping. Uh, when you say things like, I'm not somebody who can, versus I, I, um, uh, other people can. Um, you may be judging, you may be judging people. Uh, and it may, not be, it may not be a bad thing when I say judge. Judge is like um, placing someone as... Uh, like in some kind of a box and then you are in maybe 
especially those who think that they are in a more exclusive, elusive, better uh, kind of a box. So sometimes the way someone says something, you can tell from the very subtle micro expressions and even the tone uh, that actually when they say they cannot, I'm not this kind of person, they are actually uh, expressing their own fears and resistance, their own beliefs that they cannot. And um, when uh, they, they say these things, uh, sometimes they don't realize this, but it's almost as if uh, uh, I cannot, I'm not like that, blah, 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 blah. But actually what they're doing is wrong without, without saying it. So, so really this is situational you have to really look at um, the micro expressions and the, even the tone and it's very subtle. And what if, you know, uh, we were self-aware enough to catch ourselves and uh, say, um, yeah, actually, it's not that uh, it's right or wrong, it's that it's a choice and I choose not to uh, do this. And when we say, uh, I choose not to, this doesn't feel right for me. Uh, it just comes across differently. And then we are not actually comparing, we are actually not taking away our power. And it actually feels so much better when he says that um, I versus, you know, oh, I can't do this, I can't do hookups, I'm not this kind of person, I wish I could, but I couldn't. So that's actually coming across as judgmental. But if somebody said, I choose not to, this is not something that feels right for me right now, um, it, it doesn't come across as uh, judging uh, other people. Do you see what I mean? And it really doesn't matter. Um, it, the only person that hurts is you because you are not having that level of self-awareness and consciousness. Wouldn't it be nice if we become so aware of ourselves that we know that actually when we say I cannot, other people, this is actually coming across as um, uh, judging and uh, we stop using this kind of languages. Uh, I can't, it's very disempowering. You take away your power, you, you put yourself in like perhaps uh, like defeat. And yeah, so that's why I just wanted to make this quick video and share. And uh, you can up, uh, leave your comments below. And yeah, I'm having a great time here. So today I I have a photo shoot uh, and it's like mid -street. Um So I asked to get my goddess photos done. So I, I'm, uh, I'm air sign and I love um, the wind against my uh, face and hair and uh, I like to have like a long flowy gown and so I asked for it and um, let's see how it goes. Uh, tomorrow I have four workshops and um, the first one is uh, out of uh, soul gazing so it's eye gazing with a twist, uh, deeper I hope uh, and then the second one is the art of deep listening which I developed uh, based on counseling techniques and the third one is conscious uh, connection which uh, involves um, teaching people the importance of uh, consent and boundaries and also four different kinds of touch uh, based on the wheel of consent by Betty Martin and then we will have a snuggle party based on the principles that they learned in the previous workshop conscious connection so uh, several of the people from yesterday said that they're coming or they're trying to come and I'm very excited. So this is a very, very special series of workshops that I'm offering in Manila. It's uh, a ask, uh, pay, sorry, pay, uh, pay what you can workshop because um, the publicity went out really late. And I just, I just want to benefit as many people as possible. And so we just want to trust that people will be honest and honorable. And so uh, this is a very special series of workshops. And I, I'm just like overflowing with love right now because um, everybody has been so warm and loving and uh, open. And um, I just get a lot of joy out of sharing with them what I know. And 
it's really an honor and privilege, you know, to have these opportunities. And I'm just very grateful. Um, and uh, uh, I'm thinking that maybe I should do uh, such arrangements in Singapore as well, where possible, pay me anything kind of uh, arrangement, because um, I really want to help more people. And yeah, so this is Martha from uh, Eros Coaching. You can find me at eroscoaching.com. And uh, this is me uh, from Manila. And uh, have a good day. Bye-bye.